In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven gadgets that I'm using as a graphic designer from home. This is gonna be my home edition. You guys are gonna to get to see my new house here that I've moved into and kind of show you my desk setup. I'm gonna show you the seven gadgets that I'm using. And some of these are new. I haven't talked about them before in previous videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into them. All right, so the first gadget I wanna show you guys is the brand new Yeti microphone that I just bought. Now, a microphone is really important, not just as a YouTuber, but as a graphic designer, because you're gonna be working from home and doing a lot of Zoom meetings, and you wanna make sure that your audio is very, very high quality. So this is the Blue Yeti. Uh, specifically, the model is the, let's see here, the premium multi-pattern USB microphone with Blue Voice. Now, I started using the G, the G studio that they have with all the different features. And I got to tell you, it's absolutely amazing. I'll probably go more in depth on this, but as you can see on their website currently, it is sold out temporarily. I was able to get this because I'm building my credit right now for my business for future tech. And I was able to get this from Quill. They had them still in stock. I paid $10 more than it shows here. So it shows $89. I paid $99 for this thing, but ultimately I'm building my credit. So I'm using this to build my credit score. So this is the first gadget I wanted to show you guys. You guys need a good quality microphone. The second gadget is something that I use almost every single day, and it's these guys here. It's this JBL Bluetooth wireless noise canceling headphone. So this model here specifically is the JBL 660NC, or the 660NC, as you can see here on my screen. These are the black ones. They're only 79 bucks. So these are really, really nice headphones. I actually have two pairs of these and I take them everywhere with me when I'm traveling uh, and it allows me to get a lot of work done and kind of get into the zone. And just, I even put them on during my Zoom call sometimes. So this is the second gadget I wanted to show you. All right, so the next gadget that I have here is the Samsung 10,000 milliamps portable battery. So this thing actually charges your phone wirelessly, which I think is pretty amazing. Uh, I bought this at Walmart, they had a pack. So it came with this, an actual hard charger and the smaller cord as well and this battery charger and it was like i think i got it on clearance for like 20 bucks which was insane but you can plug your phone in here and charge it you know right through the, the cord right into your phone um if you want to or you can just stick your phone on top in fact let me just show you guys real quick you can see here i can put my phone on this and it's charging my phone now let me put my screen there we go let me try that again so as you can see here i'm going to stick this right on the back of my phone and boom, it charges my phone wirelessly. How amazing is that? So this is the other gadget I wanted to show you. And for 50 bucks, this is really not a bad deal. You may be able to find a package deal. Like I think my deal came with more, oh wow, you can charge your phone on or your, your watch on it, which is awesome. We're gonna talk about that here actually just in a minute. But I use this on the go. My phone as a graphic designer, I'm constantly using my phone. I'm on it for different things, looking up posts on Instagram and writing content and using Mid Journey. I use my phone more than I use anything else. And I like to be portable. My One of my values is freedom. So this is something you should be considering as well. If you're going to be out and about, if you travel a lot, or if you're a freelance graphic designer and you love to kind of live the digital nomad life, get one of these wireless chargers for your Samsung phone. Now, if you have an Apple phone, I don't know if they make this. I'm a Samsung guy when it comes to my phone, um, but this is a really important thing that you should be looking at. All right, so the next gadget here I have is my Samsung Galaxy Watch for classic now this is the classic it has a little ring around the edge which i really like but it's a little smaller than my galaxy gear watch that i used to have um, as you can see here on the website you'll see i have the galaxy watch 4 classic here uh, pulled up from samsung it looks good feels great it does feel great the band actually is surprisingly comfortable it doesn't bother me i don't usually like rubber bands I'm gonna end up upgrading the band anyway. That's a big part of what I'm gonna do. You can see here, it's got the two meters. It's got the bioactive sensor. It measures your blood oxygen levels from your wrist, uh, give you better sleep. So I track all of my sleep just to make sure that I'm sleeping better, which I have been sleeping really good lately. I've been making it a priority going to sleep earlier, waking up much earlier, starting my days at about 5.45, six o'clock. Uh, just overall, a really good product to track your sleep, to track your exercise, to make sure that you keep moving as a graphic designer, which most people fail in. So I'm actually using the Facer app. I'm switching out the faces on my watch all the time. So you can see here, this is the Facer app. You can download it on your phone and swap out any faces. They have a subscription plan. I highly, highly recommend the Facer app if you have a Samsung watch. All right, the next gadget here, and I've done this before in previous videos, is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Let me just move this over here, get this out of the way. This is my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I use this thing a lot. In fact, the pen is actually missing. It's over in my room. 
but you guys can get the fact that I have a little white Apple pencil that I can draw and sketch on. I love to use this. My daughter loves to use this. Overall, I think this is a really good investment. Um, you can get the 12.9 inch or the 11 inch. It's totally up to you. The price really varies between the two. Uh, but I really think this is a really good investment to make uh, for an artist. If you're an artist and you're creative like me, but overall, I think it's really important to have a tablet these days um, because you're not always going to be, be able to be in front of a computer like I am here. All right. So the next gadget you need to have that needs to be dialed in and make sure it's quality is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And it's specifically your phone. You want to make sure that you get a good quality phone. This one I love here because it has the pen. And if, if you can actually see it here, let me take the case off. Let me show you right here on my case. It's hard to get off because it's such a good quality case. But you can see here, I have the same one that you see on my screen here on my computer. This phone is amazing, blazing fast processor, nightography camera, way beyond all day battery. This thing lasts me a long time, but because I use my phone so much, I am having to find myself using my fast charger, the wireless charger I showed you guys. Um, and then you have as well, you have the camera. So if you look at the camera itself, I'm gonna show you guys here. Boom, look at this camera. One, two, three, four, five lenses on the back. So getting yourself a good quality phone is important because you're gonna be spending a lot of time on your phone. You're gonna be using social media, making posts. Cool. You're going to be making posts on social media. You're going to be doing all... oh my God. You're going to be making posts on social media. You're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff on here to make yourself money. Phone calls, Zoom calls, making notes, using Google Docs, typing on this thing all day long. So you need to make sure you invest in a, in a good smartphone and a good quality phone. It could be an Apple phone or a Samsung phone like this. I highly recommend the S22 Ultra or the S23 Ultra. That's what my wife has. Get a good quality phone. You can make payments with most carriers nowadays. Don't shortcut on this. Don't go get a cheap phone. Get yourself a quality phone so you can make sure you can be as productive as possible. All right. And as you guys probably know, there's lots of other gadgets that I've talked about in the past. We have hard drives. I have solid state drives. I have these little USB hubs, things like that I could talk about all day. This little desk mount. But this is overall my desk set up here at my home office that I wanted to show you guys. You can see me on camera there. All right. So here is the last gadget. This is my iMac 27 inch with the 5K retina display now this is a 2020 model so it's a few years old now at this point but it's got 75 gigs of ram it's got the uh the graphics card let me just show you here i'll pull this open uh let's see here about this mac you can see here it's the 72 gigs of ram uh 3.6 gigahertz uh drive eight cores with the i9 processor which is amazing and then it's got the radeon pro vegas 48 uh, with the eight gigs of video. So this is a really powerful computer. I use this every single day. It's where I do a lot of my designs. I'm running Photoshop. I'm using Premiere. I do Zoom, everything on this device. So you really need to have a good computer. You can do a laptop if you want, but this is going to be a lot more powerful in the desktop format. So it's good to have something like the iPad Pro nowadays because you got things like Adobe Express and then having a really nice, powerful desktop. Now you can get a PC if you want, go the Microsoft route, but I just personally like using Apple computers. I think Apple computers um, and Apple laptops or Apple uh, laptops and Apple iPads are really the best. All right, so this is the seven gadgets every graphic designer needs home edition. Give you guys a little sneak peek and a little insight as to what I have going on here at home, how I have my setup. I love this setup. I'm adjusting it and making it better day after day, but you guys can check this out. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna put the links down in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.